time to feed my addiction. Hey everybody, I have a haul from Fabric Mart and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So if you're interested in seeing my purchases, please stay tuned. All right, guys, this big old pile, you can see my board up here. This is my sewing gold board for the year. These are what some trim. And these are blankets for embroidering for like a baby blanket. All this in here is fabric. You see this? This is for my little overhead when I want to show you something on it. And then I have all fabric right here. This is just some of my fabric and we're about to add to that wall. What I wanted to do was share with you the things I purchased from Fabric Mart. These are two different orders. Um, but I deleted my video, so I needed to re redo the video. So I'm going to start off with, um, with the 10 pound mystery box that I got from Fabric Mart. It had, this is, this is my least favorite, but however, I make bags, so I will be able to use it. But it's just like a little plastic vinyl, and it's two yards of it. So I just use this like if I'm trying to make a, um, the inside of a bag waterproof. So this is just the least thing, least favorite item that I got out of there. I never expected to get that. I don't know what somebody i mean other than making a bag i don't know what else i could do with that i also got this which is my least favorite one of the least favorites as well it is two yards so if you have any idea what i can use use this for please let me know in the comments i was thinking of maybe a um a beach cover-up that's the only thing that comes to mind to me so i got that in it um and this was in my mystery box as well now this is okay but you can't see it but it looks a tad bit on the faded side but it's okay i think this would be i don't know a cute skirt or like a little tank a flowy tank top and i think it's only like a yard and a half of that I like this. This is cute. This was also in my mystery box. It's really thin, but I think this would be really cute as a tank top as well. It's really cute. This will also be a cute cover up. Swimsuit cover up. Or just like one of those little kimono slip on little little things like you use as a layering piece it'd be cute for that as well with a pair of jeans and and a tank that's one of the colors in here that'd be cute and i also got this oh and it this oh and this is the only one that, that the other ones don't have a tag but this one does have a tag it is a yard of nylon floral print point i don't think this go on this I think this actually go on that. So no, cause this isn't, this is a, like a stretch knit. It's really cute and it's not floral. So I think that came off of something else and it's three yards of this, not one. So I'm definitely gonna use this and make a dress. I purchased some patterns just for all the knit fabric that I, I picked up. Now I ordered this because it was like, oh, it's only, I think three yards left or something like that. Um, I don't see my tag. My tag may have come off. But I ordered it because it was only, I think it's three yards of this. And I thought it was so pretty on the pictures. And it and you can see it's really pretty. It's it's not ugly, but the 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 issue I have was with the care. And it just says wash gentle, but you see how that comes up? So I'm, I'm like, okay, I purchased it to make my dress for Christmas and I was just gonna hold on to it because it was such a great deal. I wanna say it was like three or $4 a yard, but I thought it was beautiful on the picture. 
but I mean I'll see how I'll see how it works out when I get ready to sew it up but um yeah I won't order that again just because you want to be able to care for your items and you don't want all the, the items I mean you're making your own clothes you don't want to be making clothes that have to go to the dry cleaners you want to be able to care for them yourself so this I got on sale this is an ITY and I got this on sale for a dollar ninety nine a yard and I don't know where my tags are and I did not take them off because I wanted to be able to put them in my little swatch book but I know that this is an ITY it's stretchy it's kind of thin and I got four yards of this and this was $1.99 a yard. And I love the print. So I know I'm gonna make a dress and I don't know what else I'm going to do with what's left over. I purchased this, it's two yards and it was only $1.99. I should have got two more yards of this, but it was only $1.99 and I purchased this to make a cardigan. I may have to get another yard if it's something still left. But hopefully that's enough to make a cardigan. It's two yards. And I have a um, pattern that I purchased for this as well. I like that print on there. This I purchased because I wanted to see what a rayon felt like because I had fabric that I felt like it was rayon. And since I'm learning fabric, when it's something that's really, you know, not too bad of a price, then I'll get it. This was $6 a yard. I only got one yard, but I wanted to see if what I already had was a rayon. And I still believe it. I believe it is because it feels almost identical to this fabric right here. But I'm just going to make a um, tank out of this as a layering piece, like maybe for the spring to wear under something. But this was six dollars a yard. I got I purchased this is a polyester medallion, large ornate medallion print fabric. It's really thin. It was three dollars a yard, and I got four yards. I thought this was really, really pretty. I have no idea what I'm going to make with it, but I'll find, figure it out. This is probably a gorgeous dress. Like a maxi dress. And I got four yards of this. This beautiful fabric. I purchased this to make a dress or a top. May even make leggings out of it. I uh, don't see no tags. But I think the most expensive thing I got was that $6 a yard. This probably was like on the 4 to $5 a yard right here. But this is a this is a knit as well. This I purchased to make the dress the um for the new Mimi G pattern. I think that's gonna be so nice. I'm not a bodycon dress person, but I like this. This was six dollars a yard, and I got two yards of it. I, hopefully, I got enough to make it work. But this is the this is the fabric. If I only got two yards, I may have to order another yard because I want to say it's a little over two yards. But maybe I'll make the short, the shorter version. I got to go back and look at the pattern. But I bought that for specifically for that dress. I bought, I purchased this fabric along with this fabric to do a um a color blocking. So I have a pattern that I purchased to do that with, and I'm gonna make a shirt out of that. It's kind of a long shirt. And this was $4 a yard, and I got two yards of each one. 
But I'm gonna do a color blocking shirt with that. It's gonna be nice. I'll show y'all that. I purchased this. And I don't know if you can see it when I hold it up, but this has like a little texture to it. This is really nice. It's a it's a knit. It's really nice. Good stretch. But I don't know if you can see the texture or the white is the white parts right there is raised up. This is gonna be for a dress, definitely. I know I have four yards of that. I don't know the price. I think these knits were like four dollars a yard though, guys. This I can't wait to make. This was $3.99 a yard. Yeah, I'm sure all of these were, like I said, four dollars a yard. And I got four yards, and I can't wait to make a dress out of this. I think this is gonna be so nice as a dress. And I purchased that just to make a dress. I also purchased this to make a dress. I'm not so crazy about it, now that I see it in person, but I'm still gonna make my dress. And I'm sure this was along the $3.99 a yard. And this is a knit as well. some more knit if y'all remember i showed y'all my cover stitch that i purchased and i already had some knits so to, the cover stitch is going to be used to make that nice finish along the collar and the hem so i'll get to learn how to use my cover stitch all this knit gonna make a dress out of this as well And here are some more. I'm, like I said, I think all of this was $3.99. Yeah, $3.99 yards. I got four yards. Stretchy, really stretchy, guys. It's gonna be nice. And another one. $3.99 a yard. And this has that raised texture like the other one. But I love the I, I love florals and I love that. And I think that's gonna be a beautiful dress as well. Yeah, and last but not least, I purchased this and I purchased this to make a underwear and bralette out of. That's what this goes to. And it is a nylon floral print point. It's three dollars a yard. I only got one yard because I figured that was enough to make a pair of underwear and the little bralette. And I think that'll be nice for that. So that is my fabric haul from Fabric Mart. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. I know it looks messy, but this is creative space. It really isn't messy, just my organization doesn't look the best on, on camera. But all of this is my part of part of my fabric stash. But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching my videos. And if you're a subscriber, I really appreciate you for subscribing and supporting my channel. If you're not a subscriber, please consider being a subscriber because we have fun. And if you take your time to read the comments, there's so many great comments and i'll say on any youtube video just take the time to read the comments because that's something i didn't do but you learn so much from everybody it's just a good community to be in i figure on, on, on all your videos people will teach you things or let you know stuff that you didn't know you didn't already know and i'm just glad to be a part of this community so think about subscribing if you have not and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next video and don't forget to sew something fabulous.